Oh. Hey, man. Hello. How are you doing? Doing very well. How are you? Very well. Very, very well. Mm, excellent. I like this theater action you got going on here. Very, very cool. I'm trapped in the vault. Oh. Gatekeeper. So what do you have to report, young Jordan? Basically, getting really focused on the pulse game, you know? I'm feeling really stoked. Like, I'm just like, um, starting to basically implement daily practices on every part of the field, whether it's the, you know, social service, business, friendship, intimate family field, the, um, and my schedule is divided into basically nine different components. And each one has the social person or the personal one-on-one, -on -one, um, uh, group and community space. And then the sacred space is kind of like kind of the cartilage in between it all. Uh, and there's also like practices and whatnot, like uh, kind of interwoven throughout that cartilage that holds everything together. But uh, I'm, I just like arrived to this fantastic idea. Like I've, I started with, um, you know, the, uh, like the point system, I'm loving the point system. And um, I started breaking, yeah, giving myself these coins. Uh, so one coin, for instance, is like, um, it's 30 minute coin. And it's like, uh, 10 minutes is like a breath meditation, 10 minutes is a yoga, med uh, like a yoga practice and 10 minutes is a workout. And then I do that every day. And it's a block that I have in my chart. And I just it every day and I'm like, wow, now that that's there every day and it's so simple to follow, it's so easy to do. And every day I feel so refreshed because I'm doing this thing and I'm committing to it, but it's like, it's so easy and so simple and I feel so accomplished. It's just obvious to, to engage with it. And so I'm, I'm, just, I'm just creating all the fields to have that similar quality. Um, and what I realized yesterday is with my, this whole system, basically kind of the the idea is that um every th there's at any point you're doing something you're doing something with the intelligence of 30 points instead of just one point does that make sense like there's 30 points of there's 30 points of consciousness that are like actively co-creating one point whereas before it was just one point it's all like it's all interlaced they're all the intelligence of these 30 different points across the landscape of my like brainwave is like all interlaced and any one thing is is a fractal like taken from any one of those spots so um i'm looking at my wall and i'm looking at my co-creations my or my creation strategy and i'm just like my co-creation is a good word for it um i'm like it's kind of, it's overwhelming because like anything that I want to do, it's so huge because I can't just do one. I have to do 30 of these things. And last night I, I started a practice where I took the shows and I took them into like, oh, how can I say that here? So the, the company and uh, the company and what the show is that the company produces and what that show is about and how that show uses that. And, um, what it's for and what that basically means and then how you the the um when how can you say when you created this map and you and you link them all so i put all that into a card and then i i just did three of them and i'm looking at this map of 30 i'm like you know what i could stop here i don't have to do them all right now it is exhausting to but if i just did like if i if i had like in a week things that I could break down over a week. So I just did a little bit every day or, you know, then for, I can hold my attention to that practice for a week, you know, but I cannot accomplish anything with my full power and energy in a, in a, in a one go, one go through. So I, I guess, yeah, it's just a, taking the pulse model now 
and then just taking my my practices and my personal feeling of accomplishment and allowing my accomplishment to not have to fulfill a whole um uh, how can i say project basically i can break down the project into pieces and give those pieces to different days of the week and then feel really accomplished in completing those pieces mm -hmm. and then accomplish like you know I can't, I can't really do anything if i if if i'm if i'm so if i'm trying to do everything in a one off like a, like sit down and do the work if i'm trying to do everything in that one off shoot I'm, I'm exhausting myself and I can't accomplish anything basically. So yeah, I did, I did three, printed out three of these, did, did four of them. And then, uh, and then now I'm, I'm like, ah, I can just do a little bit every day, you know? Small steps in the right direction and breaking the pieces into the parts, right? Nice work. Nice work. How did you find the, the meeting the other day? relaxed it was calming it, it feels more comfortable i really appreciate um zamir's feedback about um focusing on your work i thought that was really i, I thought yeah yes <laughs> yeah he really takes you know i, I I'm, I'm curious about your guys' relationship because you're like facilitating the group and he seems to really edge on on steering um but i i really appreciate his his feedback in in making the focus about bringing your work to the world. And I, I think that is where we really want to focus our efforts. And I think that is like the unifying um, element of our group, of our co-creative capacity. And how does it feel having a, a team now or feeling like you have a, a group of people that you're interacting with? <laughs> um, many different ways, but tremendous is is the first one in in our synergy group um I, i'm really excited to do more co-creation but I, I i i i kind of uh i say a lot of things okay uh, we will be right back what happened um, sometimes my computer I think my computer is getting old and so the battery just like drops suddenly. Oh. So what what were we talking about? Oh, the team. Okay, team. Um so I recently Yeah, like I was saying in the last meeting, I recently put like all the some very very powerful women that i in my life to and and basically dedicated one of the shows one of the companies to them and to that relationship and then on the um on the other wall across from it i have the schedule and each day is broken down into three blocks out um three primary blocks and each one of those blocks is dedicated to a man or a group of men a powerful man in my in my world as well. Um, and so since that's been happening, I've really started to feel my connection to my, to the community and my relationship and my relationship to family, you know, cause family is very, something I've been very distant from and disconnected from most of my life. Um, and um, so it's kind of like a flood of all, of many different realms of team and family and friendship and community from um, different angles and just feeling that in my body, in my, in my channel, in my resonance. And um, as, as for our Synergy team, I feel, um, I suppose I, I, don't I don't feel like there's anything in particular. I think I need like a more activated, like active project that we're all co-creating on so that I can have some like share some accountability with with others um and I don't quite know yet the image of how that wants to like you know what what that is what's that what what the best um use of our our co-creative um synergy is basically well I think that's part of what I'm calling you about in terms of 
seeing, you know, from the point of view of, I think the first project is going to be getting that, um, the Oracle going and getting people to that site and having them understand what it means. And then it connects into caravan when that gets going, connects into making your own conversation in a different way, connects into maybe um, exporting it to all the other social medias where you can start conversations. So maybe I'm thinking some short, some videos from you that start to explain maybe the relationship between the value, the conversation card and the uh, choice lens. The value, the conversation, which say, say again, the value, be here, let me get the screen up, but the value, the conversation type and the choice lens. Um, let me just get the screen, but just, and, and looking at, you know, the, the six question types, like we need a, a bunch of small videos that are sort of teasers to bring them to that mm -hmm. site. To understand. Mm -hmm. The choose your, choose your remedy. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. um, well, yeah, like, well, we need like kind of, there's the, like people need to understand the screen and be excited to get there. Like we need some, we need to lay some breadcrumbs uh, to bring them to this tool. And what are your thoughts on that? I'm just taking a moment to, to focus on it for a second. Well, I think, yeah, basically on, on the one, and like, I mean, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be like the essential unifying, um, like conversation, um, how we create conversation threads with unity. It's like the, it's like if there's a dragon, right. With a, with a carrot on his, like in front of his face, right. This is the carrot in front of his face. So, and we're just going to create this dragon of conversation that's going to follow this. Um, so, uh, creating games fun ways like you could use this to talk and you know talking through gifts talking through like speaking through videos through text like there's so many ways that you can apply it for me in activating it's just a matter of they're it being grounded and they're not being waste it's like i don't you know it's like i like starting the starting energy pieces that just go out but then there's no that energy doesn't go anywhere it doesn't feel worth it to like activate like if you're going to show the power of this in a sustainable in fun in functionality and how it how it helps the world in a sustainable way if you're just if to just drop the energy and then like have it be like you know grow but then those ripples don't um become something or like feed into something and maybe that's automatic maybe i'm overthinking that but uh, I want to be able to harness that data, harness that energy um, in, a, in a tactile way, in a way that I can, you know, you know yeah, you could like, yeah, maybe, maybe that is enough. Maybe just having a thread, you know, for instance, if you had the thread and then you had all this content that was sampleable, right, whether it's text or video, if you had, you know, if people were basically you had this thread that was created from a discussion topic that was um, um, initiated through divination. And you had everybody's like posts. If you were going to go in after and use that as a library and sample all those posts and perspectives to create other pieces of work. You know what I mean? Like that will be a, a use of now those threads become libraries and you can utilize those libraries. I get what you mean. I mean, there, there's so much intelligence and there's so much work done that just gets lost in the web and whatever is created by the discussion if we don't have a good way to sort of uh, mine the, the wisdom and the knowledge there and and use it in different ways um i agree mm -hmm. with that. and that and that i guess is looking at the, the post oracle 
but if we don't understand where that's leading, and I think caravan's part of that, right? I mean, caravan, start a caravan is looking mm -hmm. at taking, I mean, not quite, I think what you're saying, it, it's it's the lead into what you're saying, but just, um, I mean, there's in a multi-dimensional product line, there's so many different ways to go with things, just like you're finding on your wall, right? And, you, and with your own internal framework, you know, you, as you say, you just can't come out with one thing, you come up with 30 things. And that opens up all these doorways for what can happen, especially with a tool like this. But I guess we, we sort of, if part of the work you want to do is to map out methodologies or whatever you want to see that comes afterwards, I think that's great too. Um, but I was thinking more about how do we get them here first, just to this part of it, and then, mm -hmm. you know, we can spend other times figuring out the next steps afterwards. Um, but we just, as you said, like, but there's a, so many things to do. What do we focus on? And I'm just thinking little videos that are teasers that have them ready to use the tool as something specifically that you could do. Mm -hmm. I'm just proud. Yeah, like this is a, some a little bit of new calibration because I'm I'm really inspired with how you kind of just boldly move forward and you. Po I see what you're posting. I see the value, like in terms of like the way that you're creating content, and it doesn't have like this. It doesn't have like I mean maybe it does have the big thought of of like how that's going to plug into everything later on, but kind of my yeah I'm probably one of the things that stops me or my biggest speed bump is that it's like I where's that gonna go and I want to know kind of like but but we it's kind of like a matter of balance of like well you don't even know what it is that we're creating in the first place so you kind of got to create it and then design the next step on the fly based on the response to the first thing that we're actually doing. Especially, especially again but there's so many different ways to do this I mean that's the hardest part, at least for me in some ways, is what to focus on. And just to get to the point of here's something, here's a, a little part of the, of the program. It's a conversation generator. It's an oracle, it answers questions. And that in itself to me is enough. Like this by itself is enough as a functioning product. Mm. And mm. so earlier you were asking about, you know, how do we work as a team to synergize around something specific. So the, this is what we're, as a result to me, of what happened at the last meeting, because to me, I know that all of you, all the people on the team have their own things going and they're big things and they're, and they're things they're very passionately committed to. And so to bring these people together onto a team, to have them focus on something else, you know, is, is a major accomplishment in my mind. And then to see again, what, what like there's, we need to design within this whole idea again how to bring everyone's bits and pieces in because then they'll be more committed and then it's it's more taking into account the gifts and, and the creations of what other people are doing and, and i think that that needs to be part of the puzzle right the, the idea is to design your ideal job where you are getting to do what you want to do but you are participating on other teams creating other things that you're passionate about which may not necessarily um be specifically your project, but you're participating on it, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if if does that sit well with you, or do you have another idea of what you'd like to focus on in regards to this particular project? You know, you know, actually, I just I appreciate the push, you know, and, and the illumination on the focus. Yeah, um, no, I, I'm I'm right there. Like my and my, maybe what maybe what we could do is right now we could do a bit of a brainstorm. And come up with sort of a, a no, the number of videos, like I'm thinking 10, and each one has a functional part of this interface, like why are values important, like why are combo types important, like what, what are conceptual lenses, you know, what, what are these six categories about here, um, like what's a spell, you know, how can this be used to generate content? Are you writing these down? Well, we're, we're recording them, but um, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just absorb. I'm more absorbing. I'm more in an absorption state. Okay. Okay.
okay. Because I'm thinking, or, you know, something like, like those are all functional parts of this, but it's, it's kind of like, you know, remedy, like finding remedies. Like how do you, a remedy, you know, implies there's some sort of problem and that you need a remedy to solve it. And that a remedy is like a recipe or a formula or a, it's a way of dealing with whatever the person has to deal with. And by creating this, this tool that generates remedies, that generates new perspectives, that generates a whole way to talk about creating the remedy. Like it's not exactly creating the specific remedy, but it's creating the methodology to see the remedy. Um, right. So it, it may, the remedy may come from this little spell or may come from the generated conversation that comes from it. So I think that's that's also that's very very well said. Yeah. Very important. Finding a remedy to a problem, and so having, like I think, under one minute videos, that each of them is taking one of the parts that we're going to talk about that we're talking about here, um, like the six. Like looking at remedies, because here remedies are being organized within these six categories, right? Of business, intimate, family, social, friendship, and service. So we're already, we're bringing in the inflow matrix. We're bringing in using models to divide the mind, to see the world in a certain way, and then to redesign, reformat our mind with powerful formulas and powerful uh, methodologies to create the ideal job that we want to create in our lives, right? I mean, the whole thing behind this whole idea at some point is everyone out there gets to design their ideal job and then work towards creating it in the new paradigm. Ooh, well said, yeah, absolutely. Are you gonna post this video on Facebook afterwards? Yeah, yeah, I'll post it up right away. Um, so do you wanna, do you wanna sit, should we brainstorm this or do you wanna sit with it? But I, what I would like, because I think with you is at least, as you said, with accountability, like going, okay, well, we're going to do 10. Do you think you could do 10 one minute videos within a week? Yeah. Do you have a specific, I could, yeah. Do you have a specific, um, do you want to program what those videos are about? Well, yeah. Like that's what I was talking about. Like in terms of, do you want, do you want me to tell you what they should be or do you want to decide what they should be? I think you should tell me what they should be. Yeah. And, and I can, yeah, give me, give me the, what you'd like, what you'd okay, like the you, content about. You got a pen and paper? Like, are you ready to take some? I do. Okay. So one video is distinguishing between these six categories, the six uh, relationship fields. We call them meta relationship fields, I guess. Meta relationship. So some sort of, you know, I, I, I just love when you, when you really focus on the video and using the words and the symbols in such a manner and the music, right? Right. I think what you really can do is put together words, symbols, and music well. And now, okay, so here's the focus. So then you've got to, so dividing the remedy between those six categories, that would be one video. Divi dividing the remedies? Well, just like, in, like saying, like, Like somehow using these six categories to say like what kind of remedy do you need in your life like is it a family remedy is it a business remedy okay is it an intimate remedy okay yep uh so that's one video um the second would be <clears throat> a basic finding is that, is that all the first or is that two videos that's that's just that's just one video okay oh cool yeah i put that as two so Okay, then the second one would be um, a new way to make spells. Putting values, conversation types, and lenses, conceptual lenses. Okay, number three, 
um, like what a conversation type is. Number four would be like what a value is. Number five would be what what a what a conceptual lens is. Um then it would be, another one would be how to generate a conversation. How to generate a, con a conversation that leads to a remedy. When you say uh, for, for five, what is a conceptual lens? Is that a... Um, a card category or is are just conceptual as in creating frameworks for conversations in general i think in that i think what you just said okay and then lead into here's here is it in card form okay and so did you get the next one how to generate a conversation yep okay at least you did a remedy um that's so six And then um, how, how to use divination. Mm. To see the world differently. See the and then um, do you want to name the, the next three? Do you want to, do you have any ideas come to mind? In, in terms of this specifically, choose your remedy. Yeah. Well, this, this specific, like how it doesn't have to be like how to get people to this tool. How about another one? Uh, a question of the day. In terms of well, like, describe like the meta of describing how that would work or actually putting something like that in motion. Well, something about like, like, would you like to an to answer a deep question once a day kind of thing? Da, 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 da. Not that exciting. Um, what, what would be more interesting to someone younger in terms of using this tool as an Oracle? I want to like, for me, I want to use it to get real clear to, um, you know, it's like, what's my point of entry? Um, I'm wanting to meet this person. I'm wanting to like, I don't know, convey information, move through information. It's like in a conversation threads uh, on like Messenger, you can change the aesthetic of your thread channel, right? Where you're texting and you can change the color, you can make the little symbol, like thumbs up button different, but it would be cool if you could describe that this channel or this section on this channel was specifically designated for this equation of divination. Uh, just to, so basically creating uh, a, a framework for, for, for me to flow my, my knowledge or my excitement or my passion into and, and bypass like the figuring out stage. I mean, that's just like me in, in general. I don't know, like, yeah, basically. How could it be something like um, how to bring magic into your life? Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, what, what can you give me a definition of like what is the info matrix? It's a basically a multi dimensional thinking system. 
I mean, it's like human AI. I mean, so many AIs go towards this sort of metal future where there's just robots that are sort of at war with us. And I, I think there's a, a completely different future where we're, we're the nodes. We are the, you know, the intelligence that is connected through software with each other. And it's just the software we've had has been so poor and it's not connected and it doesn't really connect us. So, I mean, if, if I could press on the synthesis and then click, go into this library of, you know, the world's hundred best synthesizers and receive teaching from these people, it, it's like this screen alone could be the connection into you know, the rest of the system in a sense, right? It isn't just on its own creating these remedies. You can go deeper and deeper and learn more and more. So it, it's how do we organize knowledge in the mind? How do we share knowledge between ourselves? And how do we set up these screens so that we're utilizing a, a real skill in conceptual mapping? Like there's a reason those six categories were chosen. And if you want to look at your patterns, you know, these, these, entry points are going to show you the boundaries between, you know, different areas in our life. And I mean, the, the thing is in, in this outside world, it's very arbitrary what the boundaries are in software. It's, it's, it's very specific what the boundaries are. Like if you go into the intimate questions, they're going to be very different from business questions that you go into the real world. You know, if you're having an intimate conversation, if you have a business conversation, you're not quite sure yet. And the boundary is very up in the air, but up here, it's like coming and, and talking to someone saying, I would like to have a business conversation with you, which means money's involved, which means we understand where we're coming from. But if, if I come up to you and go, well, we're just friends, we're just having a chat, we're talking like friends, and then all of a sudden we move into a business conversation. At some point, maybe you're going, well, I don't think they're actually friendly with me. They're just using that to do business with me. Mm -hmm. So in that arena in the outside world is, is we're living in, a lot of these fields, but there's no distinction of awareness around when we move from one to the other. And in software, it's like, it's a click of the button. Like there's a lot of awareness around the difference between them. And I think as humans right now, we need a lot of training and communication. We need a lot of training and being able to distinguish these boundaries. And so this is generating, you know, uh, a whole new way of thinking. So I think maybe maybe one of the videos should be how to generate a whole new way of thinking. Ooh, okay. So that's eight. Um, is that I like that? channel relevance. I put as eight, actually. Okay, okay. channel cool. relevance. So I would. Um, I don't know, it's up to you, like how, how much time and effort you want to put into each one. But I, I would say that, you know, make each a masterpiece. Make each of them just something where you go, yeah, that. And I, 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 what do you say? Like, how long for a one minute video? Two hours? I mean, I guess it could take two weeks, but. Um, oh, but to, to make it? Yeah. You know what? Technically, there's, there's a, uh, for instance, you gave me nine of the nine different like component, like components that I've been coding, each nine would create a video in a completely different way, right? And some would be more elaborate and some would be like, this is what it is, get it out there, like, you know, make it bold and concise and clear. And so, um, there's a large, there's a large range, literally from like five minutes to yeah, I'd say five minutes to like four hours. Okay, so is it possible you could have them all done by Sunday to show the group? 
I would say it's, can I commit to five out of four by Sunday? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Or five out of, five out of nine? Yeah. How about five is the minimum, nine is the max? Yeah. If you get cool. five, it's fantastic. If you get nine, you're like Superman. Um, Dig it. Yeah. And then we'll play them, we'll play them for the group. So I think, you know, this is what's been lacking for me. You, you know, just sort of playing what we're creating, you know, to an audience that ha it has relevance to, right? Before it goes out into the, the, the big world. So we get a little bit of feedback as to what works, what doesn't. And uh, I'm excited. I'm really excited to see what you're going to come up with. I think this yeah, is me too. Totally. And I think that what will happen maybe is, as you said, the, <clears throat> you, you've got your other frameworks to put them through and just, you know, you're obviously going to add your own layers in and connect it in, in some unique magical way. So that'll be very exciting to see. Um, okay. Oh. <clears throat> Anything else or do we, or do we got that? I think that's good then. That was pretty, that was yeah, very clear. Thanks for the mission. Um, um, yeah, I was asking actually is the info matrix question was a two part because in my, so from that description, I would imagine that the new paradigm toolkit then is the tools that exist under the umbrella of the info matrix. Is that how? Yes. I mean, I've, I've often thought like I was recently thinking, well, the new paradigm toolkit is the big umbrella. And because it's divided into card sets, maps, game boards, processes, and software, then under the software categories, the info matrix, I mean, that's one way of looking at it. I guess they're both, they both could be containers or you look at the info matrix as being the big operating system, the language structure in a mm -hmm. sense that is the big structure to fit all those tools together. That's how I've been, I've been viewing it. And also, and then you would obviously access that through the interface of the new paradigm or within the new paradigm toolkit. And then the school of conscious communication is the channel in which you learn the, you, you learn all the skills from the new paradigm toolkit within the channel of um, the informations. Yeah. Yeah. And then planetary guardians is the outer sort of media network, which you know, the school is everyone's creation sort of go into that. Um, and then the very secret plan is the, <laughs> the way it all connects together. And it, it's a web TV show where we show the world what we're doing, which this is what we're doing right now, right? It's cool, very cool. And if anyone is watching like Info Matrix and Planetary Guardians, School of Conscious Communication, and New Paradigm Toolkit are the buttons that you would go to from here. They are all different parts of the idea. All right. Well, Jordan, great to see you. Great to hear that you're still <laughs> passionately focused on uh, many different things. And, and here on the team, I think we I did do a little bit of a team shakeup and move people around to fit the, the new context. And I'll send you that map probably today for everybody to see that because the first the first configuration was what is the best configuration of these people together, and then the next one this is more what is the best configuration for the new paradigm toolkit. So Ooh, wow. it really depends on what your focus focus point is on how you configure the people. Did you pendulum this one again? Just no, I actually I just used logic. It was pretty obvious. Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> You didn't move places and Lori Renton didn't, but everyone else moved. So we just kind of had a. Cool, excited to see the new configuration. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably get that done today. Okay. Sounds good. Great yeah. to see you. And uh, we will see each other soon. So soon. All right, much love, Jordan.